Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. Towards the end of last week, I'll let you know that Windows 11's new OneDrive app with a redesigned user interface was leaked before its public launch. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, it included new co-pilot features, a gallery view, and a modern user interface. Check the video out for more info. Now, when I did post last week, although I had downloaded the app, and by the way, the link for the app where you can download it will be in the description of that previous video. Although I had downloaded and installed the app, I wasn't able to launch the app. There were no shortcuts placed in the start menu or on the desktop or on the taskbar. Now, just to let you know that I have figured out today how you can actually launch the app if you're not finding a shortcut to launch the app after it's been installed, because obviously this was a leaked version, so there could have been a bit more work to do. But how I got it to work, and just a quick hands-on, is I navigated to my C drive, or in your case, it might be another drive where your OS is installed on. and I went into Program Files by 86. Now, this is only on Windows 11, how I got this to work. And here you'll see it installed OneDrive. And here you'll see OneDrive app. And then what I did was I right-clicked and I pinned to Start. And then I pinned that to my Start menu. And then I can actually launch the app, which is a very easy solution. And there's the app. Now, a quick recap. This is basically a PWA, a progressive web app. So it's based on a web app. And as you can see, looking completely different to the so-called OneDrive as we know it. And this is more or less what it looked like when I posted some images last week. So just a quick walkthrough. First of all, you to the top left, you've got a photos view, which is your gallery. And you've got a files view, which is exactly what it looks like over on LAN on the web app. So this is basically a shortcut to OneDrive on LAN. And if we head back to photos, this takes you back to the main interface. So you've got moments on this day, basically. You've got the gallery, you've got albums, which I haven't got any albums. And then you've got favorites, which I haven't got any favorites. But you get the general idea. And then yet to the right hand side you've got your settings telling you how much storage you've got left you've got different themes i'm just following my device theme and if you click on settings that will take you once again back online to your onedrive settings online so very much interlinked and a web-based app and then yeah you've got your kind of a floating search here at the bottom and you can click on that you can upload Photos and videos, you can upload a folder, create a new album, and so on. So you get the general idea. So I thought I'd just show you and have a quick walkthrough in real time, basically, what this app is all about. Now, you can download and install this app on Windows 10. But to find the actual executable to launch the app is much more difficult than it is in Windows 11. In fact, I couldn't find it. I did a search, I checked around in system files, program files, hidden files, couldn't find it. But what I did was, is I went back to my program files, as mentioned, into the actual program files where I first located the OneDrive app executable. And I copied this over onto my Windows 10 device. And then I launched it and it actually launched the app on my Windows 10 device. And then after that, what I did was I placed it on my desktop as a shortcut on Windows 10, and then I pinned it to my Start menu, where it's exactly the same now. I can launch it directly from my Start menu as a pinned app, just like I can over on Windows 11. So there is a bit of a workaround there if you'd like to try it out on Windows 10. So no word when this is going to make its way into the stable version of both operating systems. But nonetheless, I'll keep my ear to the ground with this. And if I get any more info, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.